Thanks. New at 10 tonight, KRDO News Channel 13 investigates a conflict of interest allegation against the mayor of Pueblo. Nick Gratisar is accused of signing off on COVID-19 relief funds involving one business owned by his niece and another he has a financial interest in. News Channel 13's Dan Beatty has this breakdown of the investigation. Tonight, Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar tells me he has no comment. The issue surrounds uh, city money meant for businesses here in Pueblo to get through the pandemic. Hundreds of businesses have received these funds, but it's two businesses in particular that are raising some eyebrows. Two contracts signed and authorized by Pueblo Mayor Nick Gratisar. The city of Pueblo gave $10,000 in COVID-19 relief to TikTok, a coffee shop in downtown Pueblo owned by Emily Gratisar, the mayor's niece. Then $4,000 was given to Stiletto Hair Salon on Pueblo's south side, which pays rent to the company Wildwood. According to the city council president, Nick Gratisar is a partial owner of Wildwood. We were trying to be very liberal about this money because it was needed desperately by businesses that were on the verge of closing their doors. City Council President Dennis Flores has been looking into these ethical concerns for a week after a taxpayer filed a formal complaint with Pueblo City Council. Flores tells us the process for dishing out aid is squeaky clean and the mayor had little to do with business applications for the COVID-19 funding. Uh, it did not rise to the level of, a, of an ethics problem because he did not make the decision, the evaluation, Grant committee made that decision. The mayor appointed three Pueblo businessmen and women to vet each business application for COVID-19 relief. Flores says they interviewed each applicant before then passing contracts on to the mayor. But before the money could be distributed to each business, Mayor Gratisar's signature was required on each contract. You know, I think that was part of the process, but that's to make sure that these people are utilizing the money correctly and that's for the salvaging of their businesses. But he never took note on what the names of the businesses were? He may have, I mean, I, I don't know. Flores says the three-person committee was unaware of the relationship between the mayor and his niece when they reviewed her application, or the mayor's connection to Stiletto or Wildwood, which he has a 25% stake in. In the COVID-19 relief aid contract between the city and Stiletto, Stiletto lists rent as number one under eligible expenses. The mayor has a stake in Wildwood. Do you see anything inappropriate? No, there? and let me tell you why. Number one, Wildwood never asked for any money. Okay, number one, I think that's important. Two, uh, Mayor Gratishard did not know that there was an application for Stiletto. The mayor did not go back to the committee and say, I want you to you know, give this lady money so she can pay her, her lease payment. That, that is not the way the process worked. They, they were looking at trying to help save this business. Dennis Flores says he investigated this complaint filed with city council and dismissed it based on the claims. Uh, I also spoke with Mayor Gratisar's niece who owns TikTok. She asked, she says she asked city employees if there was a conflict of interest because her uncle is the mayor. They said no because the committee would ultimately be making the final decision. I also spoke with Stiletto's hair salon's owner. Uh, she says she's never spoken to the mayor and she never even thought of a potential conflict of interest. Both businesses tell me that without these funds, they would be in deep trouble. Reporting in Pueblo, Dan BDKRDO, News Channel 13.